What you're seeing is my reflection in a mirror. A candle and a mirror. Two seemingly normal, mundane objects. But in the hands of the psychically gifted, these objects could open a door to a different dimension. It's said that Nostradamus received his psychic visions of an apocalyptic future while holding a lit candle over a reflective pool of water. There are also people known as necromancers, those who can communicate with the dead using these same type of methods. In my novel, Reflection of Evil, one of the protagonists, 15-year-old Jamie Cochran, sits alone in a tent within the woods near his home in the mountains of northern Vermont. Jamie deeply misses his dearly departed Grandpa Joe. And while grasping a candle in his trembling hands, he gazes into a mirror, much like this one, desperately hoping to see his grandfather again. Little does he know that the seemingly innocent act will open a doorway to a different realm a dismal plane where a malevolent demon seeks a human host to occupy in order to carry out its vicious plan of death and destruction. Gaze into the mirror with me now. Perhaps you will see another face materialize on the other side of the glass. Concentrate and stare intently. It could happen at any moment. Very funny. The point is we're going to be making a full-length feature film of my novel, Reflection of Evil. And one of the major roles will be played by a wonderful actress, Marilyn Spanier. And hopefully she'll be here at any moment. Of course, this is Marilyn, who will be playing the role of Joyce Levenstein, a very gifted psychic and practitioner of Kabbalah, the ancient art of Jewish mysticism. Don't forget to tell them about Crystal. Oh, I was just getting to that. The other lead role in the film is that of 18-year-old Crystal Blair, perhaps one of the most beautiful girls in the world, Jamie's friend and the object of his erotic fantasies. In essence, Crystal becomes the damsel in distress in this film, whom Jamie must try to save while trying to survive himself through a landscape of terror and peril. How was that? Terrific. But you forgot one important thing. Huh? Yourself. Oh. <laughs> Besides being an awesome author, Bob is also a fabulous actor, and he'll be playing the role of Alex Friedman, a retired NYPD detective and the former boyfriend of my character. And before I take you into my neighborhood, or rather the neighborhood where my character Joyce Levenstein lives, I'd like to introduce you to another character in the film. Mrs. Wilson, the librarian, played by the very wonderful Mary Catherine Wright. Hi, I'm playing Mrs. Wilson, the librarian. I read the book. It's good. Really, really good. And take it from me, I'm a librarian. I'm in the know. This is Borough Park, Brooklyn, my neighborhood a neighborhood which has been one of the enclaves of the most ultra-Orthodox Hasidic Jews. Here the practice and study of Kabbalah is the norm rather than the exception. And being a Kabbalistic scholar, I would have been embraced by this community if it were not for the fact that I'm a woman. Yet I do have one key link to the other scholars here, and that link is my friend, Rabbi Joseph Rushminsky, who secretly encourages me in my mystical endeavors. And eventually, the two of us become essential in trying to save Jamie, Crystal, and the world 
using a rare Jewish exorcism in order to try to destroy the evil entity that is intent upon destroying all of humanity. The Battle of the Bulge, the last decisive battle in Europe against the Nazis during World War II, fought in the Ardennes Forest. It was a long, bloody, desperate siege which finally broke the back of the German army. But this World War II Ardennes Forest is in a different dimension, a dimension of evil where the Nazis are winning and will go on to dominate and destroy the world unless Jamie, who has been mysteriously transported back in time to this alternate reality, can somehow, along with a much younger version of his Grandpa Joe and Joyce's now youthful grandfather Benny, defeat an evil Gestapo giant who has captured Crystal. The odds are certainly against Jamie, but unknown to the evil Gestapo demon, Jamie has a secret weapon, which is... Don't give the whole thing away. You're absolutely right. You're going to have to see the movie to find that out. And that's where you come in. We need to raise between three and five million dollars to make this movie. And we don't expect to get all the money from one source, but you can help us out by contributing any amount you can. In this Indiegogo campaign, we'd like to raise $100,000, which are funds we need to start a production company, hire a staff, and secure the additional funding we need to produce the movie, complete it, and get distribution for the film. Now, this is a horror movie, but it is not your mindless, run-of-the-mill slasher movie. No, it is a movie with a profound and deep message. It explores the nature of existence itself and the age-old battle between good and evil. And you can make it happen. If you will contribute any amount you can, one dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, one million dollars, that would be great. And if you can share this link with everyone you know and ask them to share it with everyone they know and everyone they know, well you get the picture, then you can help us produce this really amazing film. And there are a number of perks for those contributing higher amounts, anywhere from a hundred dollars to the sky's the limit. And all the perks will be listed on our Indiegogo page. And if you would like to read the novel to find out why it will make such a great movie, there are a number of ways you can get it. It's available at Barnes & Noble and Barnes & Noble Nook, Amazon.com and Amazon Kindle, or you can go to the web and get it directly from the publisher at www.buybooksontheweb.com. That's www.buybooksontheweb.com. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And help us make a great movie. And help us make a great movie. What she said. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What he said. <laughs>